Hey, this is Steve Seflin. Welcome to another Lifestyles. Today we're talking Mardi Gras and Carnival with the crew of Slidellians Parade Captain Mary Clement. How you doing, Mary? I'm doing great. Thank Tell you us about the crew of Slidellians. And you are the reigning queen. No, I'm the past queen. I was the queen last year. Okay. So how does that work? You get, you get appointed before the parade? We have a ball. Okay. Ours is a little bit backwards, but we have our ball, and that's where we get uh, crowned as the king and queen. Mm -hmm. And then we have to wait till the following year to ride in the parade. Okay. Where's the ball at? Our ball is going to be held at North Shore Harbor Center. Oh, that's a popular place. It's very nice. Tell us about the crew of Slidellians. It's well, put on by who? We are a group of ladies. It's the Slido Women's Civic Club. Okay. We're very different because we're not a Mardi Gras crew. So we're okay. probably the only parade out there that is put on by a group of ladies. Okay. We have 85 women that are members of our club and our club was founded to promote community service okay. in Slidell. So we do many many activities but the parade is one of our larger mm -hmm. uh, fundraiser type activities. Um, it's different because we invite members of our community. It's almost as if we honor them. So okay. our king and queen are selected from the community based on the service that they do, okay. um, all the different activities that they provide for the community. So we honor them. We also have maids and dukes that we select from various organizations in Slidell. They represent um, the Boys and Girls Club, uh, the Chamber, all the different organizations, mm -hmm. and they tell us which one of their members they would like to recognize, and we select them as our maids and dukes for the ball. So the parade, therefore, becomes a very big community event. The participants in our parade are all members or businesses in the community, as opposed to a carnival crew mm -hmm. who all of their members are riding. Right. Our riding members are all the organizations in Slidell. We have groups like Slidell Memorial Hospital with Oshner, um, Bippos, mm -hmm. they put on a, a bring in a float, and any other business that wants to bring in a float can participate. So we're open to the whole city, anybody that wants to come in. We have organizations that are like the Gumtree Pleasure and Social Club, mm -hmm. they participate. So each group that comes in um, helps contribute to our, uh, you know, the promotional fund that we use to then go on and give back to the community. So it, what the monies that we do raise um, go right back into Slidell. So if a business wants to have a float, the business takes care of building a float and everything? No, no, no. Okay. We are, we have a company that we lease through in Slidell okay. and um, we handle all that. We send an application and that's how our businesses do it. They contact us and we give them the application. We provide the lease float and the insurance that's needed to be in the parade. And then they come on out with their 60 members. And decorate. They, they don't have to do anything. No, the floats are beautiful. They made, and y'all pay for the floats too? No, they pay for the okay, float. Right. We provide the information. So they lease the float. We use, and they also pay for insurance okay. that I handle all that. And then they just come on out and they promote their business. They come out with 60 people. They bring their throws and they have a great 60 time. 60 to a float. They can, that's the most they can put on some of the big floats. Now we have all size floats that we're able to lease, but um, most people have between 40 and 60 people. Who picks the businesses that are going to be on? Or we send it out to any business that really? would like to participate. We don't pick them. They're, we're open. So Anybody you send out can, like Facebook or whatever, or just the postage? Well, we send mail? out to businesses that have participated in the past or businesses we think might want to participate because okay. in order to have a float, it's, it's, going to take a lot of people on that float right you know in order to pay for it so we also have a very special float it's called the melting pot and we like this one because that float is open to any person so oh. if your aunt and uncle wanted to ride in a Mardi Gras parade and they're not a member of a crew they can contact us and say hey I'd like to ride so we charge them a fee which helps us pay for the float right. and they just come on they don't have to have a costume so we have lots of different people which is why we call it the melting pot how many floats in a parade this year we have 20 floats. Whoa. Yeah, we do really well. And how many years you've been around? I've been in it about 10 years, okay. but the, the organization's been around since 1947. And it started how? It started with four very sweet ladies who felt that they wanted to do more for the city of Slidell. So in 19... It was small, 1947, huh? very small. They yeah. must have had about 15 members, and they went out and worked the soup kitchen. They did went into the schools mm -hmm. and helped tutor. Um, they provided services throughout the city. They helped the Boys and Girls Club mm -hmm. and all different organizations that 
needed support. Okay. And it's just grown from there because it was such a good idea and it was such a needed organization that it's going strong. Now, is it limited to businesses in Slidell or do you go out to Lacombe or Pearl River? And you mean for our, what we yes. give back? Mm -hmm. Mostly we try to stay in Slidell okay. right. because we are the Slidell Women's Civic Club. I believe other cities have civic organizations too. Now, are you going to have any marching bands or dance? We have a few marching bands. Okay. And see, our, our dance groups, yes, we definitely um, encourage. Is your mom dancing? Tell everybody who your mom is. She's in the paper all the time. My mother, Rosemary Clement, is my mother. And, and she she's the co-captain. She had a dance studio, right? She had a gymnastics school and a dancing school. But she's the co-captain. So she rides in a buggy with some of the other ladies. Well, she'd are, be heading to dance ladies. Well, we're dancing the ball. She heads oh. the ladies that dance in okay. the ball. So that's oh. the whole another activity. But as okay. far as the parade... She rides in a beautiful buggy with some of the other ladies that are my crew of mm -hmm. lieutenants for the parade. Okay. So, um, Who's the king and the queen? Well, our king and queen are Ellen Lamarck and Rennie Arsenault. Okay. And they, were, they reigned as king and queen in our ball last year. So the whole year they get to be the king and queen, and the parade will be their final event. And when do you decide on who the king and queen is for next year? Well, we've already done that for next you year. You know who it mm -hmm. is? Yes, but it's a secret. We don't tell. When are you going to tell? Um, the night of the ball. When's the ball? The ball this year is January the 20th. Well, this might air after January the 20th. But you, the ball will, that's right, you can't, <laughs> I can't tell you. <laughs> but we, the, you the, can, the, nope, tell me, I no, won't tell anybody. The la yeah, right. I the ladies of the club Mary. come, <laughs> they bring in resumes of whoever they feel is oh, most okay. worthy, and we vote. We actually vote on our king and queen. It's a secret ballot, and they are announced the night of the ball. So that's what you'll have to wait and see. When is the parade? The parade the most is important the question. most important, January the 28th, Sunday the 28th. Sunday. Okay. A Sunday, and we lead and Pursuce follows us. We have a double parade on that particular day. Okay. But we're first, we're the oldest parade, so um, we're not the first parade of the city because I believe Poseidon's is the night before. Okay. So we're the first Sunday And what's parade. the route? The route is traditional slide out route. We start at Salmon, we go across Ponch and Train, Front Street, Street Gauze Gauze, Boulevard. Mm -hmm. And you end at where Hobby Lobby end, yeah, Shopping Center. Around that area, right. It's about five miles, the police tell us. So what are you going to be? Who, deci who decides the theme of the parades? To the be honest with designs? you, because we don't decorate our floats like a traditional Mardi Gras crew, we don't have a theme for our parade, mm -hmm. we're leasing the floats from the, the float maker. So we just use the floats that are already decorated. Our ball has a theme. Okay, what's the theme? The theme of Can the you ball. Tell me that? The last year's ball was denim and diamonds. So those are the maids and dukes and king and okay. queen that are in our parade. So we have a float with our maids and dukes, and it would be with denim and diamonds. How many maids and dukes do we have? We usually have four maids and four dukes. You want to tell us who they are? I can't tell you any of that information. But wait, you told me who the king and queen were. Oh, for last year? Yeah. Oh, for this year. Oh, the ones that were last year. I don't have the list with me. Okay. okay. I don't have all of them. You're being awful secretive today, man. Only for the king and queen. <laughs> what else can you tell me about the Slider Women's Civic Club? Oh, it's a don't wonderful, it's tell it's me a about wonderful it. group. Tell me what, about some of the things they do. Some of the uh, things and that we do. contact numbers. Website. Right, we have a website at SlatterWomenCivicClub.org. And phone number if you want to get um, information or join. Well, they just can look on the website. Okay. And all if right. they do that, they, there'll be applications there. All the information about our parade, if they'd like to come to the ball, they can purchase ball tickets. I'm How not much sure. Are the ball tickets? The ball tickets are $70. Okay. And, you know, it's food, dancing, entertainment by the women. The da women dancers, Miss Rosemary's dance group. Your mom's gonna dance. Mm -hmm. She has a group of ladies that we all practice and dance at every ball. Oh yeah. We also dance around the city. We do I see her picture in the paper all the time. Well, those ladies are out there doing a lot. Um, some of the the nice things that we do. Uh, every month they go to a nursing home and mm -hmm. perform and um, do games with the ladies mm -hmm. and men that are there and bring That's little great. goodie bags. Uh, we do. We help the Rainbow Child Care. Okay. And I see it keeps slide out beautiful. Oh, we do that chocolate. also, right? We go out and we do the city cleanup twice a year. Our organization, we each have a little spot in Slide mm -hmm. so we do that one. The soup kitchen? Once, I think every, whatever month has five Saturdays, we do that. So it ends up about you, five you, times you a year. You provide food, you serve? The we food bring our own food to cook there, and okay. then we all cook, the ladies all cook, and then we serve. And we also put food in boxes that are given to people that are not able to okay. come. So habitat. That's a nice activity. Well, Renee is the new habitat. leader of Habitat. You're right. king, correct? Rennie. Rennie. Mm -hmm. We Rennie. have a group of ladies. Every year that they do the build, we have a team that goes out and does the build. Mm -hmm. We also do the um, 
the cancer run, the Relay for Life. We okay. always have a team. We're working on that this year also, and we support that. We raise money and funds for that. Health Alliance, East St. Tammany Chamber events. Right, we participate in all those because we are also a member of the chamber. Slider Memorial Hospital, you volunteer there? We have ladies that volunteer Don't for some of everything. their activities. Anything that Scholarship is needed. Scholarship awards for civic, tell me about yes. that, civic the, Some of the money that we make for the parade and any other sponsorship that we get, we give right back to, we select women, mm -hmm. high school girls, and we, every year we give out four scholarships to those girls wow. going to college. So that's a nice thing also that we do. Youth assistance program. That's something new that we're working on. It's a, a program that's in the making. Okay. Right. Last but not least, Christmas giving program. Oh, that's a really sweet Tell one. Tell me what, just um, finished. Right. Every year we go to four or five different schools. We rotate throughout the city and we ask for names of children that may be needy for Christmas, would like to have some gifts and maybe they aren't able to, the parents aren't able to provide that for them. And we usually give, I think we had about 60 children mm -hmm. that we provided gifts for. Right. And also I think we had 40 men and women from a nursing home. Wow. So that we select, the names are given to us from the schools mm -hmm. and each of the members selects a child and we go out and purchase many, many gifts, and we wrap them all individually, and they end up with large bags, and then we deliver them to the school so that the parents can come and pick them up. And you get, the, do they get the list from Santa Claus that what the children might yes, want Yes, they never Santa. know where those gifts come from. That's great. It's very nice for them. So let me think, there's something else I'm going to ask you I forgot. What okay. else can you tell me? I have a bad memory. We covered a lot of our Civic Club. If what anyone, if you want to join? That's, that's what I was going to say. If anyone's it. interested in becoming a member, right. How do you, do you that? basically look on the website and you Which can is? send in. It's SlatterWomenCivicClub.org. All right. And you can send us a is letter. Is apostrophe yes? There's no apostrophe in okay. it. Okay. Uh, you send us a letter saying that you're interested in becoming a member. And we have our selection twice a year. In the summer, mm -hmm. August, and also in January, we open up our um, so nominations. they want to join, they come, and then they go in front of the members. Actually, they just release. send a letter, okay. and then we read the letter, and then the women vote you know, to accept, and okay. we're pretty good about that. So well, that's We good. like all all kinds of uh, women of all different, you know, groups and... Mm -hmm. How do y'all make money? Seems like you just give money. We give them. money. We do How give do you money. make it to give? Well, we, the sponsorships for the parade do help us. Do you need sponsorships? We always need sponsorships. Tell us about them. Well, we, what we use the sponsorships are to help us put this parade on, you right. know, to help what pay the band. What sponsorships do you have? How much we have are they? four different levels, a $1,000 sponsorship, and we do a beautiful, we make beautiful banners that help advertise the businesses. Mm -hmm. So a $1,000 sponsorship helps us pay for a band, and also they have a solid banner with their okay. name. And then we go down. If you want a half a banner, it's $500, and then 250 Those are our three different levels. And, and then open for donation. They get recognition for that. Do they, they get, get recognition. Watch a ride in a parade, or no? They get the banner. Okay. That's that's basically like their advertisement and their gotcha. thank you. So okay. we acknowledge them by carrying the banner throughout the parade, and we use them if we're going to have a, uh, let's see, like our maids and dukes. Right. We'd need a sponsor to help pay for the insurance for the float. So some of those people's money would go to sponsoring that float. How many members do you have? We have approximately 85 women in our club. Now, if I'm an organization and I need help with something, can I come to you and request help? Yes, you can. Just go to your website? Go to the website and say that you, we, we often get requests. Okay. We get requests from different groups. Uh, I think we also help Rainbow Child Care. We'll get requests from them. Mm -hmm. Stark, we've also helped right. them. So we do help also boy, uh, Girl Scouts and Boy Scouts. We've really? helped all of oh, those different do everything. Groups. We try to be around and help where it's needed. Okay. I mean, that's our purpose is just to get out there and provide assistance to the community as a charitable organization. So. All right. So the day of the parade is Sunday? January the 28th. And what time does it start? It starts at 1 o'clock. Okay. And anybody that's interested, if you want to ride on a float and you've never been on a big, beautiful New Orleans float, just go on the website because we're open to anybody. It's $130 to ride on a float. And you have, you have to get your own throws. Do y'all have a signature doubloon or we, throw? We do not because okay. because we have groups from all over that come you. to us. So okay. we don't have them. We don't make them buy our particular beads. January 25th. 28th. Is, I'm bad. Jan I think my memory was bad. January 28th. Yes. Sunday. 
you start off at Salmon, you yes. go Pontchartrain, Train, Front Street, Gars, and up in the Hobby Lobby Shopping Center. That's correct. If you want to ride, get in Good touch on the with the website. website. Look on the parade tab and contact us as soon as possible. We're filling up the float now. All right. Thank you, Mary. All Come right. Back thank you anytime. very much. I appreciate it. Avenue. Thank you, sir. We'll be back in a few minutes with our next guest, Slidell Women's Civic Club. If you want to ride, give Mary a call. She'll, <laughs> she'll hook you up. We'll be right back. Thank <laughs> you.